Hello, greetings mga spacers natin out there from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And sa lahat po ng ating mga kaspacers na nakatutok po ngayon worldwide and netwide, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. This is your kaspacer and space commander, Sir Jun Kahigal. Welcoming you to another online telescope viewing. And again po, napakaswerte po natin ngayon. Today is the second day of clear skies. Today is September 7, 2022. And right now mga kaspacers, you are viewing on screen our waxing gibus moon. At about 88 to 89%. Illumination. So, I got this uh, image of the moon. Sige, mga 8.30 po ng gabi. Eh, napakaswerte po natin ngayon. Sana magpatuloy ito hanggang weekend. We have uh, clear skies tonight. At uh, pangalawang gabi na to na talagang clear po yung skies. And uh, also, mamaya po, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang uh, Jupiter with the Galilean moons ulit. So, mapapansin nyo, nagbago na po yung position ng mga Galilean moons as compared to last night. And uh, sana din mapakita ko yung uh, image ng uh, Saturn. Pero may pinulse na po akong picture na nakuha ko sa Saturn. Okay po. So, ayan po yung ating feature And sa buwan po, ay papakita ko po sa inyo later again yung Copernicus Crater and yung Tycho Crater. Ayan po. So, bago po tayo magpatuloy mga kaspacers, so please like and share this online telescope viewing para makarating po sa maraming tao, lalong-lalo na po ang mga estudyante out there so that they would be inspired and they would be engaged in the sciences, lalong-lalo na po ang astronomy. So, pakiusap po yan po sa inyong lahat at uh, bilang tulong nyo po sa akin yan to spread the good news of science and technology, lalong-lalo na po ang astronomy. Alright po mga kaspacers, so in a few minutes, papakita ko po sa inyo yung magnified image ng buwan. At ito po yung telescope na ginamit ko kanina for our moon gazing and uh, planet gazing kanina. So, this is a Vixen Custom ATMM Refracting Telescope. A refracting telescope uses lenses to produce a magnified image of the distant object. And mapapansin niyo meron siyang uh, camera or cellphone adapter. Alright. So, ito po yung aking telescope na ginamit ko for this uh, online telescope viewing tonight. And that's a Vixen Custom ATMM Refracting Telescope. Yan isa sa mga paborito ko tong telescope kasi madali lang siyang iset up. Alright? So, kung may mga tanong kayo, just uh, comment down below and uh, kung meron kayong mga reactions about this telescope, o kung meron kayong uh, comments about it, just type in your comments dito sa ating comment section. Okay po, so balik po tayo sa buwan. And uh, in a few moments po ay magnify po natin ang uh, image ng waxing gibus moon. So, ang waxing gibus moon is an intermediate phase of the moon that starts right after the first quarter. The name Gibus comes from the moon's shape. So para siyang uh, semicircle or oblong or para siyang itlog. Alright, waxing means that the moon is getting bigger. So kagaya pa ng sinabi ko kanina, uh, I will be featuring the Copernicus Crater and yung Tycho Crater. Ayan, minagnify na po natin yung image ng buwan. And makikita nyo po yung uh, malaking crater na yan na talagang very distinct and very visible. That's the Copernicus Crater. Ayan po. And kagaya pa ng sinabi ko kagabi, itong uh, Copernicus Crater is about 93 kilometers. So ang laki no? 93 kilometers in diameter and uh, it has a depth of about 3.8 kilometers. 
And nakikita niyo po yung parang curve, yung parang arco na yan. Yan ang tinatawag na uh, parang handle. Okay, handle siya. Alright. So yan, golden handle po. Yan, so nakikita niyo yung parang arco na yan. Yan, so, nasa ulo ko. Ayan, katabi ng ulo ko. Ayan, nakikita niyo po yung mga spacers. So yan tinatawag nilang uh, golden handle. The golden handle is the uh, stunning visual created when the Terminator falls on the Montes Jura range. Ito yung Terminator po. Malapit siya sa Terminator. The Terminator is the imaginary line separating the lighted part of the moon from the unlit part. So the high peaks of the mountain are illuminated first while the bay of rainbows below is still in darkness. Ayan po. And as the Terminator slowly moves, the sunlight dims creating a golden arc. Yan, nakikita nyo, nasa ulo ko yan, nasa taas ng ulo ko. Ayan, alright? So, ang that, with, that creates the so-called the golden handle since it requires the alignment of many factors we can only catch this unique sight about two nights in every moon cycle all right po so ayan po no yun ang tinatawag natin na golden handle and ito po ulit yung uh, copernicus crater and uh, kung mapapansin niyo sa copernicus crater maraming uh, parallel lines that radiate along the rim of the crater and uh, those are rays or ejecta. Alright, oh, mga ka-spacers, no? So, uh, the Copernicus crater exhibits patterns of uh, white lines radiating along the rim. Uh, those are rays caused by the debris thrown out by the initial impact. The debris called ejecta can in turn create secondary craters when it falls back to the surface. And ito po mga ka-spaces yan, tinataas ko na po yung telescope natin. Yan, makikita nyo po yung Tycho Crater. right? so very fascinating po yung Tycho Crater na yan. So the Tycho Crater is one of the most prominent craters on the lunar surface. It appears as a bright spot in the southern lunar highlands. So itong telescope natin po ngayon mga ka-spacers, ay nakatutok sa Southern Lunar Highlands. And yan, kitang-kita nyo yung malaking crater na yan. That's the Tycho Crater. Pero mas distinct yan pag full moon. At kitang-kita yung mga rays or ejecta pag full moon siya. Alright. So, ayan po yung Tycho Crater. It's a prominent lunar impact crater located in the Southern Lunar Highlands named after the Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe. Ang uh, diameter niyan po is uh, 85 kilometers across and it has a depth of about 4.8 kilometers. Ayan po, so bumabalik po tayo sa Copernicus Crater. So ganun din po yung Copernicus Crater, eh, may mga rays din yan. No? Pareho din po ng Tycho Crater. So and uh, makikita niyo yung mga dark patches na yan. Those dark patches are lunar planes. Ayan. Ang tawag po dyan ay Mare or Maria. Okay, uh, the word Maria is the Latin for seas or dagat. Okay, again, because early sailors, or early astronomers, they thought na yung mga dark patches na yan were bodies of water. Kaya pinangalan na Marias or Mare. Like uh, the Sea of Tranquility kung saan po naglanding yung Apollo 11. Pero alam na natin po na yung mga dark patches na yan, are solidified pools of ancient basaltic lava. Alright po mga ka-spacers, and yung mga bright areas na yan, yung mga butlig-butlig na puti na nakikita nyo sa ating uh, lunar image, yan po ay uh, mga lunar highlands po yan and impact craters. Alright po, so kung meron po kayong mga tanong or reactions about what you are seeing right now, just uh, type in your comments or your reactions in our comment section below. So, ayan po yung ating magnified image of the waxing gibbous moon at about 88 to 89% illumination. 
Alright, and again po mga kaspacers, today is September 7, 2022. At napakaswerte po natin kasi ito na yung pangalawang araw na talagang clear yung skies, walang kaulap-ulap at I took advantage of this para ma-share ko po sa inyo ang ganda ng ating buwan. Alright, so ayan po mga kaspacers. And kitang-kita po ninyo, kahit ganito lang po yung ating image ng buwan, yung mga dark patches na yan are mga lunar planes po yan, mga patag po yan ng buwan. And uh, yung mga bright areas are lunar highlands. So those dark and relatively featureless lunar planes which can clearly be seen with the naked eye are called Maria. Again, the word Maria is the Latin for seas or mare. Since they believe, yung mga early astronomers natin, uh, na mga bodies of water yan. But alam na po natin na yung mga dark patches na yan are vast solidified pools of ancient basaltic lava. Alright po mga kaspacers, so dun sa mga nakamiss kanina, dun sa ating magnified image ng buwan, magnify po natin ulit. And uh, mamaya din po ipapakita ko sa inyo yung uh, Jupiter with its Galilean moons. Alright, uh, shout out muna po sa mga estudyante ko from uh, 11 STEM 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, sana nanonood kayo. And uh, sa mga estudyante ko din sa general physiology and uh, uh, evolutionary biology, shout out sa inyong lahat. And sa mga kaspacers po natin na nanunood po ngayon at nagtsatsaga po sa atin, maraming maraming salamat po. Please like and share this online telescope viewing para po makarating sa maraming tao, lalong lalo na po yung mga estudyante, para makita naman nila yung uh, ganda ng ating buwan. And para ma-inspire din sila na maging engaged sa science. At yun po yung advocacy ng Bedan Society of Young Astronomers and ang Sky Watchers Society of Las Piñas. We are bringing the telescope to you. Ayan po. Okay, so please like and share lang po kung ating online telescope viewing. And uh, also please follow us on our Facebook page, the Bed and Society of Young Astronomers. Follow us also on our Facebook page, the Sky Watcher Society of Las Piñas. And follow me on my personal Facebook page, the uh, Science Guy, Kaspacers TV. And uh, may YouTube channel din po ko, the Science Guy, Professor Jun Kahigal. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube video. Yan, and uh, click on the notification bell so that you would be updated on our future videos. Ayan po. So, ayan po yung ating uh, waxing gibus moon po tayo. Ha? Waxing gibus gibus kasi nga yung shape ng buwan ay parang semicircle, oblong or parang itlog. Waxing means that the moon is getting bigger. And uh, sa Friday, uh, almost 99% illuminated na yung buwan and our full moon is this coming Saturday. Ayan po. So kung may mga questions kayo uh, about the moon or anything about astronomy, kung masasagot ko naman, eh gagawin ko. So mag-comment lang po kayo. And ito po yung telescope ulit na ginamit ko for our online telescope viewing. So ito po yung Vixen uh, Custom 80mm Refracting Telescope. Again, refracting because ang telescope na ito uses lenses to produce the magnified image of the distant object. And makikita nyo po yung eyepiece niya ay may nakakabit na cellphone adapter Yan, to get uh, or to take pictures of the uh, chosen target, yung target po natin yung buwan, yung Jupiter and Saturn. And uh, kitang kita po ngayon, no? Tung, uh, uh, sa mga susunod na gabi, no? yung buwan, yung Saturn and Jupiter. So ayan, isa sa mga paborito kong telescope na ito kasi madali lang po siyang iset up. Alright. Okay, so that's the uh, Vixen Custom ATMM Refracting Telescope. Okay, balik po tayo sa buwan. 
So in a few moments now, magnify po natin yung uh, image ng ating buwan. Alright. So magparamdam, magparamdam po kayo mga ka-spacers. So please comment down below. Okay, so mamaya habang magnify po natin yung uh, image ng buwan, Uh, ipi-feature ko po sa inyo yung Copernicus Crater. Ayan, nakikita nyo po yan. Minamagnify po na natin yung image ng buwan. At uh, makikita nyo yung, yun, yung malaking crater na yan. That's the Copernicus Crater, mga ka-spacers. So, itong Copernicus Crater is a lunar impact crater located in the Oceanus Eastern Oceanus Procellarium. Ayan po. So, ang crater na ito na napakalaki, it was named after the renowned astronomer Nicholas Copernicus. Alright. Ang uh, diameter ng crater na yan is 93 kilometers and it has a depth of about 3.8 kilometers. And itong nasa ulo ko ngayon po mga ka-spacers, yun ang tinatawag nilang the golden handle. Ayan po mga ka-spacers. So, ano ba itong golden handle na yan? Alright, so ang golden handle is the uh, stunning visual created when the Terminator falls on the Montes Jura Range. Ayan na nasa ulo ko po. Ayan yung parang art na yan, no? Ayan, so the high peaks of the mountain are illustrated first while the Bay of Rainbows below is still in darkness. And as the Terminator slowly moves, mga ka-spacers, the sunlit dims creating a golden arc. Ito po yan, yan. Katabi po ng ulo ko. Ayan. Yan yung parang uh, hawakan ng tasa. Ito po yung nasa ulo ko. Yan ang tinatawag nilang the golden handle. Alright. So as the Terminator moves slowly, the sunlit dims creating a golden arc. Yan po yung katabi ng ulo ko, mga ka-spacers. Ayun. So, yun ang tinatawag nilang the golden handle. So, comment down po kung nakita niyo po. Yan yung parang R po na yan, no? Alright. Okay, and uh, we are now moving the uh, telescope. Again, yan, nakita niyo ulit yung uh, Copernicus Crater. And uh, kung mapapansin po ninyo, yung uh, Copernicus Crater may mga uh, radiating white lines along the rim. of the Copernicus Crater. So, ang tawag po dyan ay rays. Alright. Okay, so actually marami sa mga craters ng buwan, lalo na mga malalaki, may mga rays yan. So, lalo na itong Copernicus Crater. The Copernicus Crater exhibits patterns of white lines along the rim called rays caused by the Uh, debris thrown out by the initial impact of the asteroid that created the Copernicus Crater. Okay, so ang uh, ibig sabihin ng bagong bago pa itong Copernicus Crater. And now we are moving mga ka-spacers our telescopes sa uh, uh, Southern Lunar Highlands. And uh, makikita po ninyo yung Tycho Crater. Ayan po. No? Ayan, kitang-kita po yung Tycho Crater. Alright, the Tycho Crater is uh, one of the most uh, prominent craters on the moon. Alright, it appears as a bright spot in the southern lunar highlands with rays of bright material that stretches across much of the near side. Alright. Okay po, mga ka-spacers. So, ayan po, no? So comment down po kayo kung kayo'y namamangha if you're fascinated by what you are seeing right now. Just comment down below. Ayan po. And uh, habang ginagalaw po natin itong uh, telescope natin, ayan po. So just imagine that you are on board uh, the Apollo command module. Ito po yung sinasabi ko lagi na pag nag online telescope viewing tayo. Kasi yun ang, ginag yun ang ginagawa ko actually habang sumisilip ako sa eyepiece ng telescope. Talagang nag imagine ako ako na nakasakay sa command module ng uh, Apollo and in-orbit ko po yung buwan. Yan, para talagang uh, masaya, maganda yung feeling. No? 
Alright. Okay, so yun ang ginagawa po ng telescope natin. So, para sa akin po, personally, ang telescope ay parang ano yan, parang spaceship. Right? The telescope is like a spaceship and the telescope brings you where no man has gone before. And uh, by the way po mga kaspacers, tomorrow, September 8, is Star Trek Day. Ayan po, Star Trek Day bukas. So sa mga Trekkies out there including me, happy Star Trek Day tomorrow. Ayan, September 8. Okay. So ayan po yung ating uh, magnified image of the waxing gibbous moon at about 88 to 89% illumination. So ayan po, so uh, sana na gustuhan niyo po yung ating uh, buwan ngayong gabi. And uh, sana bukas clear skies pa rin para makapag-online uh, telescope viewing tayo. And uh, kung clear skies tong weekend, we might be conducting a face-to-face -face public telescope viewing at uh, Vista Mall Global South. So magbibigay po kami ng announcement if we are go for launch on uh, Friday. Ayan, sa ang Skywatcher Society of Las Piñas ay nasa... Vista Mall Global South. So kung malapit po kayo sa vicinity ng Vista Mall Global South uh, tung Friday na to, uh, punta po kayo. Samahan niyo po kami. Okay? And uh, sisilipin natin po yung buwan. Sana po clear skies. No? De depende pa rin yan sa magiging lagay ng panahon. Ayan. So we are praying and hoping for clear skies tung Friday. Okay? Alright, so ayan po, no? Alright, so shoutout muna tayo kay uh, LB Kahigal uh, uh, who will celebrate her birthday uh, bukas din, Star Trek Day, you know, September 8. And sa mga magbe-birthday po bukas, ayan, happy birthday sa inyo. Okay, so eto na po tayo. We are now viewing on screen Uh, Jupiter with its Galilean moons. Ayan po. Okay? So, ang uh, yung mga parang between na uh, parang nakahelera po, yan yung mga Galilean moons. At si Galileo po unang nakakita niyan when he pointed his telescope sa buwan. Ah, sa Jupiter. Sa bu oh, actually, pinoint din niya sa buwan eh. And uh, nakita ni Galileo yung mga craters. Siya yung una nakakita ng mga craters, yung mga mountainous areas sa buwan. Pero si Galileo, tinuro din niya yung telescope sa Jupiter. At gato yung nakita niya, yung apat na yan, yung mga Galilean moons. Alright. So let us now identify the moons of uh, Jupiter, tung apat na ito. But again, uh, mga kaspacers, uh, let me make this clear that Jupiter is orbited by more than 70 plus moons. Baka magtaka kayo, eh bakit apat lang yung nakikita namin? Eh syempre, ito lang po yung limit ng telescope ko. So, ang makita lang po natin ay yung apat na pinakamalaki. Uh, ito rin yung nakita ni Galileo. So, dito po sa taas, pababa po tayo. That's uh, Callisto. Alright, then yung susunod is Ganymede. Then, followed by Europa. Then yung malaking disk na ito na puti, that's Jupiter. And itong nasa baba, no, yung uh, halos katabi ng Jupiter, malapit sa Jupiter, is Io. O, so, pababa po tayo. So, we have Callisto, Ganymede, Europa, and Io. Yung malaking white uh, disk na yan, that's uh, the mighty Jupiter. And uh, baka magtanong po kayo, eh, sir, paano nyo naman na-identify yung mga moons na yan? Uh, I was able to identify the moons using uh, an app, uh, a computer program called Stellarium. Okay po, mga kaspacers. So, kung mapapansin po nyo, kung napanood nyo po yung vlog ko kagabi, iba po yung position ng mga Galilean moons ngayon as compared to last night. Alright. So, ito po yung napansin ni Galileo bakit nag uh, uh, night after night inoobserbahan niya ito at napapansin niya na nagbabago po yung position ng mga 
mga tiny star-like objects na to surrounding Jupiter. So doon niya na-realize na ah, mga ano to, these are tiny moons. Eh, gum- nag-iiba po ng position. So that means that the, these moons orbit uh, or goes around Jupiter. So ang inisip ni Galileo, ah parang Jupiter is like a miniature solar system. Ganon. Alright. So doon na nag- nagbabago yung pananaw ni Galileo about the uh, geocentric model. So parang Dito na po nagsisimula yung pagsuporta niya kay Nicholas Copernicus yung sa kanyang heliocentric model. And uh, napako yung kanyang uh, paniniwala dun sa Copernican model, yung inobserbahan niya yung Venus. Kasi nakita niya, nag-iiba yung shape ng Venus. No? Venus changes shape. May mga faces yung nakita ni Galileo. Alright. So, ayan po, no? Okay, konting kwento about Galileo. Si, uh, si Galileo kasi, ano yan eh, uh, idol ko yan eh. Alright, so let's talk about Callisto. Ito si Callisto, eh, it's a heavily cratered moon. Alright, and uh, yung susunod is uh, Ganymede. Uh, Ganymede is the largest moon in our solar system. And uh, mas malaki pa po ang Ganymede as compared to, to Mercury. No, mas malaki pa yung Ganymede sa Mercury. Biruin niyo po yung mga kaspacers sa saan pa kayo. Right? And uh, just like uh, Callisto, Ganymede is also a heavily cratered moon. Alright? And may ice din yan, no? Ang uh, Ganymede. So, baka may mga naniniwala na ang uh, si Ganymede can support life, micro- microbial life. Alright, then uh, yung susunod is Europa. Okay. Uh, again, like yung mga sinasabi ko dati, at, ano, paulit-ulit na lang ako dito, that uh, when Voyager visited the, the Jupiter system uh, at uh, nag-fly by siya sa Europa, napansin niya na ang, uh, the surface of Europa is covered with solid ice. Ice, water ice. no? And the maraming cracks dun sa ice. Again, because of the tidal pool. of uh, Jupiter's uh, gravity. So, nag- nagbe-break yung ice. So, kung ganun, kung uh, if the surface of Europa is covered with water ice, isa lang pong ibig sabihin yan. Parang dito sa mundo natin. no? So, yung surface ay solid pero beneath the solid surface may be liquid water. And again, pag may water, ibig sabihin nun, baka may microbial life. At least microbial life. And again, in astrobiology, the search for life outside planet Earth is the search for water. So, there's a big possibility that Europa may harbor microscopic life. Ayan po. So, isa, isa sa mga candidates yan. Alright? For the search for life outside planet Earth. Okay, then now uh, we have Io, yung pinakababa. Yeah, that's Io. And uh, Io, kagaya ng mga sinasabi ko before, Io is a uh, geologically active moon with more than 400 active volcanoes. No, no. Nung bumisita yung Voyager sa Io, eh, nakita, nakita doon sa, mga, sa camera mismo na may pumuputok na volcano. No? So, Io is a geologically active moon, moon with more than 400 active volcanoes. So, saan pa kayo? Ang galing, no? Very fascinating talaga itong mga Galilean moons. Okay. Ayan. And uh, nung uh, bumisita ang Voyager, uh, napansin niya yellowish yung surface ng Io and very few craters. Kasi nga, yung mga volcanoes niya, no? And uh, yung surface ng Io is uh, sulfur, no? sulfur dioxide. Basically sulfur. Yan, kasi because of those active volcanoes. Uh, but again, mga kaspacers, no? hindi, hindi apat ang buwan ng Jupiter. So again, I would like to make this clear that Jupiter is orbited by more than 70 plus moons. Uh, makami. Um, karamihan sa mga moons ng Jupiter ay eh, maliliit lang siguro na hatak lang yan dun sa asteroid belt because again, Jupiter is near the asteroid belt. Parang Mars, di ba? Yung 
uh, Mars is orbited by two moons, yung Phobos and Deimos. Pero yung dalawang yan, eh, hindi spherical, di ba? Phobos and Deimos are potato-shaped moons and many astronomers believe na ang Phobos and Deimos may have been captured asteroids from the asteroid belt. Okay po. So, ayan po yung ating uh, observation of Jupiter with its Galilean moons. So, again, today is September 7, 2022. And again, nagbago po yung position ng mga moons na ito. Alam niyo po mga ka-spacers, Isipin niyo na lang to, no? ang telescope ko, kinukuha niya yung light ng uh, Jupiter and we know that Jupiter is really far, millions of, of miles ang Jupiter and uh, imagine niyo na lang yung ilaw niyan, magta-travel pa yan. No? Alright? So, ang telescope ay eh, parang time machine yan. So, it captures the light traveling dun sa target object na yan. Right? Hindi lang spaceship ang telescope. Ang telescope ay parang time machine din. Alright? Light takes time to travel. Like, yung, uh, yung light ng sun, it takes about 8 minutes to travel, di ba? At it takes uh, 8 minutes for sunlight to reach planet Earth. Eh, what more ang Jupiter? Ang layo-layo ng Jupiter. So, you can imagine yung light traveling from Jupiter to Earth hanggang sa makakating sa telescope po, no? So, ang telescope ay talagang parang time machine yan. Alright mga ka-spacer, so hanggang dito na lang po tayo. I will now conclude this uh, online telescope viewing. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong uh, pagtuto. And again, please like and share this online telescope viewing so that we could reach more people. Lalaw-lalo na po yung mga studyante so that they would be inspired and they would be engaged in the sciences. Please follow us again on our Facebook page, the Bedan Society of Young Astronomers, uh, the Sky Watcher Society of Las Piñas. Please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, the Science Guy Professor Jun Kahigal. Please subscribe and click on that notification bell so that you will be updated on our future videos. So marami pong salamat sa inyong na pagtutok. This is your Kaspacer and Space Commander. Sir Jun Kahigal saying live long and prosper and uh, tomorrow, September 8th is Star Trek Day and happy birthday kay Miss uh, LB Kahigal. Alright, always uh, stay safe and uh, always remember to keep your space. Bye-bye po! I'll see you next time sa Na Clear Skies bukas. Bye-bye!